right, trying to shoot in the winter. Brought my AUG. Been shooting this a lot. On my YouTube friendly five round magazine. Yeah. In Sweden you can't really go to the range unless you can put a half a meter long uh, stick into the ground. In the berm at least. And it's been warm a couple of days now. So all the snow is melting. This is just wet snow. Kramsnö as we say in Sweden. A friend is showing up. He's promised he'll show up. And he'll bring his SVT40. So I hope we get to try that. And uh, Tom is over there trying to zero his MK18 super expensive, super fancy rifle with all the bells and whistles. So let's see how that goes for him. I think that the you painted it. Uh, what's the name of this? Uh, was it Patriot Brown or something? Patriot Brown. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if my phone is showing this, but it's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. And you have the extra weight in front, so we, it's front heavy. Ah, uh, not quad rail. much. This is, uh, yeah, it's a quad rail. It's the well, but it's going to be a lot with a quad rail and a bipod and a nice suppressor. Yeah. But it's obviously much cooler this way. Yeah. And for your super advanced night vision, you have the extra riser here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. The mount. Uh, uh, yeah. so point X, uh, these uh, magnifiers work the same as prismatic sights, like... Uh, What's it called? The one they had in the Desert Storm and whatnot, the four times magnification fixed one that goes backwards and it's like a funnel forward. Trigicon? No, yeah, no, yes, no, Trigicon. No. The yeah. one with the Christian Econ. verses yeah. in it. Econ. So you have to have your eye about here. And that's pretty sad because these are really nice glass, work really well. The only downside is you have to be fairly close, but the aim points are super nice. <laughs> And I would buy one unless I was such a snob and didn't like the where I have to have the where the iBox is located. So I just go with an LPO or something similar. I'm such a whiny asshole. Oh yeah, which one is this? Is the aim T2. point T2? T2, of yeah. course. Yeah. No, hollow sound for you. No, no Chinese no, no, bullshit. No. Now we have to <laughs> support Sweden, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then I uh, have the 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 short stubby. A, uh, a Sutra. Yeah, this the is a Gen much newer model than I have. Yeah, this is the Yan 2. Is this so, an original or a Chinese copy? No, 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 of course it's uh, the original uh, Atlas. And uh, the thing with uh, this one, I also bought um, uh, this muscle brake. Oh, it's the brake uh, this, version. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not uh, it's a Sutra the, one. It's, it's the German one, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, uh, This is much nicer. Yeah. W was I the one who told you about this one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I use this all the time. I don't use uh, Asutra's original one. They build forward about one and a half centimeters or something because it's a two-part one with a lock screw up here. Mm -hmm. And that lock screw has failed on me. And this one has, uh, has shims, shims here. Yeah. yeah, so you can time the muscle brake that way instead, which is much better solution. It's a simpler solution. And it's perfectly compatible. It doesn't build forward as much. If you have a short barrel rifle, you don't want to build it forward more than necessary anyway, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, what's the name of the Crag Engineering, something like that? Yeah, something. Uh, then I also have uh, the gas block. It's uh, full adjustable. Oh, so nice. uh, I'm gonna check now. So uh, I have. Uh, and it's a Daniel Defense, right? Yeah, it's a, a proper Daniel Defense MK18. Uh, I was probably the last one that got uh, this uh, short barrel one. Uh, so. It was uh, now uh, the, the the police doesn't give you a permit. Oh, but for they a... changed that. Uh -huh, okay. A friend in, my, in our club, uh, an American you might know who likes rules a lot, he got uh, an HK with uh, the short barrel. Ah, okay. He got a permit to buy that. So they changed the tune apparently. Okay. But for a long while they wouldn't allow short barrel rifles for some reason. It's not according to law or anything. They just do what they want. Yeah, it's a cool rifle. Let's shoot it. Vad skjuter du på? Skjuter du på plåten eller? På Nej, tavlan. Ja, ah, okej. Okay. Den blev varit lågt va? Ja, den träffar lågt höger. Ja, ah, är, det, är det det du gör? Suppressor test. Det är 
det är tre färg. Ja. This is why you don't remove the suppressor the first thing you do after you're sh done shooting. Yachty <laughs> full. Yeah. That's pretty. Okay. Let's see if this magical Soviet boomstick will actually go pew. Two shots to check. Well, that seems to work, be working. Locked back on. Last round, bolt hold open. Tactical grip hand guard so you can do the C clamp. Almost a Magpul magazine. And a tactical muscle brake. This is uh, super tactical, did you know that? <laughs> It's accurate, but with a donut of depth zero at 300 meters, I have to do a severe hold under to actually hit anything, and uh, I can't actually see what I'm aiming at at, at this distance. But it does go pew. Ah. It, it's simpler to insert the magazine on the SVD40 than the Dragonov SVD, because uh, on the Dragonov there's basically two metal lips, and you can get it on the wrong one. On this one, there's only one. There we go. So, yeah, that's do the pew pew. Säkring är inåt vänster. Den här? Ja, tryck den åt vänster. Uh, now it's unsafe. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay Wait, 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 wait! Everybody, calm down! Ett magasin till hemma. Ja, ja. Men det är spricka i, så man måste svetsa först. Seems to be in there now. But I'm gonna do this with the magazine support now. Ja, den är låst också. Bra. So it's super low. I hit it. I have to aim a little bit above the tire. Okay. Aha, what happened there? Maybe I failed at the magazine support. Okay. Yeah, now I'm out. Is it supposed to be a magazine with last hand bolt all open? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll fold it down here. Ah, okay. And now I can out. Okay. Cool rifle. A little bit finicky, <laughs> but rifles from this era are supposed to be that way. It's from 1941. Yeah, and it's awesome. Okay, 
So let's do an actual tactical rifle. It's pretty much impossible to miss with this rifle. Real uh, operators use Soviet uh, rifles from the 30s or 40s. It's uh, a bit more of a challenge compared to this. <laughs> works and it's awesome obviously it's pretty much impossible to miss with this rifle as I said very nice so so they're they're in the front checking the groups on the target and I'm building snowmen because why not right I'm probably done now. I've tried my AUG. I hope I remember to get some video of that. <laughs> it shoots nice, but at this distance I have to do hold unders because it's uh, 0 to 300. So the little donut of death reticule is meant to uh, hit a target at like close distance to out to five, half a kilometer. And the uh, point of impact is still inside of the donut of death. But yeah. It works, and this MK18 is fucking awesome. It's pretty much impossible to miss with this rifle. It's so nice. Yeah. You are a nice rifle. <laughs> the SVT40 was really fun to shoot. It's uh, fun to compare it to the Dragunov. The Dragunov is obviously slightly more modern. Not sure if it's that more accurate. <laughs> they're both not very accurate rifles. But they're both very fun to shoot though. So there, there's that. Right. I'm probably gonna go and uh, have a hamburger now. <laughs> See ya. Double biceps. Cutest double biceps ever. <laughs> <laughs>